Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Ann Trujillo. And I'm Shannon Ogden. Glad you're with us tonight. The race for mayor in Aurora is taking off after a controversial start with that strong mayor initiative. This Tuesday was the filing deadline for candidates and Denver 7's Claire Lavazorio sat down with the two men hoping to unseat current mayor Mike Hoffman. She joins us now tonight in studio. Claire? Ann and Shannon, well, uh, this initiative now would have asked Aurora voters to approve giving more power to the mayor, but it will not be making it on this November's ballot. Instead, the city manager rather will continue to run the day to day operations within the city as the city clerk works to certify that each candidate running has filed those 100 signatures from registered voters in the city of Aurora that they are required to have to appear on the ballot as they continue to ramp up their campaigns as we continue to head toward Election Day. Voters will be choosing between three candidates to lead Colorado's third biggest city, though they will not be voting to make the mayor's office more powerful at least this year. Current Mayor Mike Kaufman is running for re-election, while Jeff Sanford... I'm a leader, I'm not a politician. ...and Juan Marcano... I have this radical idea that a Democratic city should have a Democratic mayor. ...are looking to unseat him. Marcano says he's glad the strong mayor initiative won't be on the ballot, saying the signatures were gathered through deceptive practices. Sanford, too, saying building a plan with his team is key to his leadership on day one if elected. You can't have political snipes or at times it seems like an all out war. Denver 7 asked both candidates about their thoughts on Aurora's rapid growth and how to manage it. City data shows in the last 50 years, the population has boomed by about 300,000 people. Our pattern of development in Aurora has been that kind of contemporary suburban sprawl um, that is frankly economically and environmentally unsustainable. Marcano suggests rezoning large portions of Aurora to allow for mixed use developments and expanding public transit. Our last master plan for the city of Aurora <laughs> was developed in 2018. We don't have a current master plan. Sanford is referring to Aurora Places, the city's foundation for growth and development that was adopted in September of 2018. We have to have affordable housing, smart housing that are close to thoroughfares. Voters will have the final say on Election Day, November 7th. We reached out to Mayor Mike Kaufman's office for an interview tonight, but so far have not heard back. I'm reporting in the studio, Claire Lavazorio for Denver 7. Thank you, Claire. An election day is less than 10 weeks away. And in addition to local elections, voters statewide will see two ballot measures when they head to the polls, including Proposition HH. That plan would reduce property tax increases in exchange for smaller Tabor refund checks. And if it passes, refund checks would be the same for everyone. If it fails, refunds would be income based. And then there is Proposition I, I. That will decide what happens to excess revenue from higher taxes on tobacco and nicotine products. If it passes, the state can keep the money for preschool programs. If it fails, it must be refunded back to tobacco and nicotine product wholesalers. Denver 7 will, of course, keep you informed as Election Day gets closer. You can find voting resources and guides on denver7.com politics.